my dear students. Welcome to our video tutorial in Mathematics 9. We are now in quarter 4, week 1. In this video, we will learn more about the 6 trigonometric ratios and how to use this when solving problems. Just like Pythagorean theorem, the 6 trigonometric ratios can be used when solving problems involving right triangles. In Pythagorean theorem, only the side or the sides are given and unknown. While with these trigonometric ratios, we can use this now in solving problems about right triangle wherein sides and one of its angle is known. Now, we have also here uh, when to use these trigonometric ratios. So, use to solve right triangles given, so we have four, letter A, the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg are known. Letter B, the length of the hypotenuse in one of the acute angles. So, it involves now acute angle. Letter C, the length of one leg and one of the acute angles. And letter D, the length of both sides. Now, before we're going to have an example, let us identify first what are these six trigonometric ratios. Okay, let us understand more about the six trigonometric ratios. Now, in the given right triangle, we have their acute angle, which is denoted by theta. This is the symbol for theta. Theta, T-H-E-T-A, theta, which is used to uh, denote the unknown measure of an angle. So, it is a symbol used to denote the unknown measure of an angle. Are defined by ratios of two sides of the triangle. So, we have here the given right triangle and we are going to identify which side, which side is considered opposite hypotenuse and adjacent because when dealing with these six trigonometric ratios it is very important for us to identify asa ang side ang opposite asa ang side ang hypotenuse og adjacent now the sides of a right triangle are first we have here the side opposite the acute angle or the theta is the opposite side so this is our reference angle Theta here is our reference angle. Automatically, ang atbang ang aniyang side is always the opposite side. And the side adjacent to acute angle or your theta, adjacent meaning tupad niya, that is our adjacent side. And always remember that the side opposite your right angle, that is always our hypotenuse. Okay, so we have here the opposite side, opposite your theta, hypotenuse, opposite your right angle, and adjacent side, adjacent to your theta or to the reference angle. Now, the trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. So there are six. Now, unang una to ang tulo. We have here sin theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. Kay kanang tulo mao na siya ang basic. Kanang naasa ubos, these are only reciprocal of the three ratios nga naasa ibabaw. Okay. So when we say sin theta, that is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Your cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse and your tangent theta is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side now aron dali siya mahinom duman maybe nakadungog mo sa uban nga magsikiingon so katoa so katoa so shortcut na siya no para dili na to malimtan so so meaning sign you have your s So, meaning sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, so, mo na siya. Then, ka, 
meaning you have your cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA, so you have here T, the first letter for the tangent TOA, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So you have there, kung sine gani, that is so. So, cosine theta that is ka, and tangent theta that is toa. So, ka, toa. Okay? I hope nasabdan siya. And then, since ang cosecant is reciprocal man sa sine theta, so ang cosecant theta na to is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Gibali ra siya, reciprocal. Then, the, the reciprocal or the inverse of cosine theta is second theta. So, ang cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ang second, may mo siyang hypotenuse over adjacent. And for the tangent theta, ang iyahang reciprocal or ang inverse niya is cotangent theta. So, pag tangent, opposite over adjacent. Pag abot sa cotangent theta, so, may mo siyang adjacent over opposite. So, kung ato sa ninkuhaon, so, you have there C, ang cosecant is C. So, you have there the CHO, C-H-O. Cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Then, ang second, so you have there S, dayon, H-A, siya. And for the cotangent, you have there C, then A, then O. So, ang inverse niya, Mahimo sa siyang cho, siya, kao. Okay? So, sa basic na 3, soka, towa. And for the inverse, you have there, cho, cho, siya, kao. Okay? I hope nasabdan. Okay, let's have this example. Find the six trigonometric ratios of the given figure. So, we have here a right triangle. We have here 3, 2, and square root of 5. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to identify which part is the opposite side, adjacent, and the hypotenuse. Now, we will label it, label it so that you will be guided. Okay. So, if we have here the theta, the side opposite to this is, of course, our... That is our opposite side. And the side opposite, your right angle, that is the hypotenuse. So, which means your square root of 5 here, this is our adjacent side. Now, let us find the six trigonometric ratios. So, first, we have here sine theta. Remember that sine theta is that is so or that is sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so from the given figure you are going to locate what is the value of the opposite of the opposite side so you have there two and your hypotenuse is three so therefore sine theta is equal to two over 3. So, as simple as that. Letter B, you have there the cosine theta. On sa man to ang cosine theta? Ka, no meaning to say that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, what is the value of our adjacent side? So, you have there square root of 5. And hypotenuse is 3. So, therefore, our cosine theta is square root of 5 over 3. Okay. What about our tangent theta? So, that is TOA. So, meaning, opposite, tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Okay? Opposite over adjacent. So, pila ang opposite na to? So, we have 2. Our adjacent is square root of so, that is how we express tangent theta in ratio. But if 
you are asked to simplify this one. This is not yet the final answer. Why? Because as you can see below, ang 5 gisod siya og radical sign. So, dapat tanggalo na to ang ihang radical sign. So, we have to rationalize. So, remember how to rationalize? Aron matanggal na siya diha, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 5, square root of 5. Then, we multiply 2 times square root of 5, that is 2, square root of 5, ito pad over square root of 5 times square root of 5 that is 25 and what is the square root of 25 it's 5 so our final answer is 2 square root of 5 over 5 we have letter d we have there the cos second which is the inverse of sine theta so cos second this is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. So, pilang hypotenuse na to. So, we have there 3. Then, our opposite side is 2. So, therefore, our cosecant theta is 2 over 3. Next, we have second. Second is opposite of cosine. So, therefore, second is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. So, sha. Okay. So, we have here hypotenuse. We have 3 over adjacent, which is square root of 5. So, kung ipa-express lang si into ratio, ana siya 3 over square root of 5. But, we have to simplify our answers, no? So, dapat tangtango na nato ang radical sign nga naa sa 5. So, again, rationalize, multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 5. So, 3 times square root of 5, ito padra. Then, Square root of 5 times square root of 5, that is square root of 25. And square root of 25 is 5. So, therefore, your second theta is 3 square root of 5 over 5. What about cotangent? Opposite siya sa tangent. So, that is adjacent over opposite. So, pila man ang ato ang adjacent, square root of 5. Our opposite is 2. Now, since ang 5 nga na ay radical sign, naaman siya sa numerator, so, dili na nato siya tanggalon. This would be our cotangent theta. So, tangtangon lang nato ang radical sign kung naa siya sa denominator, parihaning sa tangent o sa second. Pero kung nanagani siya sa numerator, no need na natanggalon ang, unless kung perfect square siya, ato siyang i-simplify. But since square root of 5 is not, 5 is not a perfect square, so as is siya. So square root of 5 over 2 ra siya. Okay? Now, let's have this example. Given here, triangle A, B, C, with acute angle A measures 32 degrees and you have there the B which is 13. Now, before we're going to find for A, we're going to identify first the, the different size of this right triangle so that we will be guided. So, let us identify the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse. Now, when dealing triangles like this or kanang nay mga angle, kanang big letters diha, mo denote gid siya sa angles then automatic ang side opposite ana niya, ang side then small letter na na siya. So that is why you have your angle A, ang opposite side niya kay ang small A then angle B, opposite side niya small B then we have angle C, ang opposite side niya is small C. Now since we are to solve for A, let us identify first kung unsa ang given nga pwede na to gamiton. Then we are going to identify kung asa sa 6, sa six trigonometric ratios ang atong gamiton. 
kung ang sign, ang so katuwa ba, or ang iyahang uh, reciprocal. So, shall we identify the opposite? Asa ba diha ang opposite side? Ang opposite, asa diha ang hypotenuse, o ang adjacent side. Okay, now, asa man ang theta, 32 degrees. So, automatic, ang opposite side niya, mo ng opposite. So, therefore, ang opposite side na to is represented by letter A. Nya, the side opposite your right angle is the hypotenuse. So, therefore, our hypotenuse is the side C. And the side nga duol or tupa sa given nga angle is the adjacent. Sa ato pang pa, atong adjacent ni ang B, which measures 13. Maura ang given nga length. Tapos, ang given na nga theta, or which is the angle A, is 32 degrees. Now, since we are going to look for A, so, ang atong gamiton, kani si opposite, o kung unsay given nga side, unsay given nga side, ang adjacent. So, asa sa 6 trigonometric ratios, nga makita ang opposite o ang adjacent. So, therefore, we are going to use the tangent. So, therefore, we are going to use the tangent theta. Remember, the tangent theta is equal to opposite over toa man toa, over adjacent. Okay? Tangent. So, what we are going to do next is to substitute. Ang opposite na to dere is A, ang adjacent na to is B. Now, we are going to substitute. We have here tangent. Pila ang value ni theta? So, we have here tangent replace theta with 32 degrees is equal to A. Since wala value si A, kay maya itong pangitaon, just copy A and the value of your B or your adjacent side is 13. So, substitute 13. Now, how are we going to solve for A? This tangent 32 degrees understood over 1. So, what we're going to do is to cross multiply. So, 1 times A, that would be A is equal to 13 times tangent 32 degrees. So, that would be 13. Ito pa si tangent 32 degrees. So, mga na siya ang ato ang answer. That is the length of your side A. But, if you have your scientific calculator, pwede na siya i-simplify. Be sure lang ang inyong calculator that is in degree mode. So, what are you going to do if you have your calculator? You press 13, then press the tan, the tan button, then press 32. Okay? Ang uban isod siya o parenthesis ang 32, then press the equal sign. So, ang mugawas diha, that would be equal to 8.12. So, if you have your calculator, the length of our side A is 8.12. Pero kung wala yung calculator, pwede na 13 times tangent 32 degrees. So, using the same given, what if we are now to solve for side C? Again, uh, let us identify the different sides. So, asa to ang opposite diha? Our opposite side, opposite to 32, that is represented by letter A. And our, this is our adjacent side is represented by B and which is equal to 13 and your hypotenuse is represented by letter C and the given theta is 32 degrees now we are to look for C now which of the trigonometric ratios are we going to use so you have there the so the sine, the soca, cosine, soca, you have there, toa. 
So, sine, cosine, and tangent. So, since we're going to find for the C, so, naa si hypotenuse. So, duha tong pilihan, si sine o si cosine. Kaya puro man sila na hypotenuse. Unsa man ang given? Ang given kay si B, which is adjacent. So, asa ang dunay adjacent? Gani. So, therefore, we are going to use the cosine theta. So, we are going to use the cosine theta, which is equal to adjacent, ay, sorry, ay, adjacent over hypotenuse, or which is B over your C. Okay, so at this time, mag-solve na ta. Okay, substitute, you have there cosine, 32 degrees is equal to your B, which is 13 over your C. Then, ang sa sunod buhaton, oh, you cross multiply. Understood that this cosine 32 is over 1, then you cross multiply. So, you have there C cosine 32 degrees is equal to 13. Okay, 1 raman siya. So, 13. Since we are looking for the value of C, so we are going to divide. We're going to divide both sides by cosine 32 degrees. Diha po, cosine 32 degrees. So, we can cancel that. So, ang mahabilin, ako i-transfer the ring. So, si C na lang. Your C is equal to 13 over cosine 32 degrees. So, kung wala kay calculator, ang atong answer ani is C is equal to 13 over 32 degrees. But if you have your scientific calculator, pwede pa na ito siya masimplify. Again, be sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So, you press 13 over or divided by, press the cosine or cos button, then 32, then press equal sign. So, ang mo gawas diha, your C will be equal to 15.33. So, that is the measure of our C. Okay, using the same given, at this time, we are going to find the measure of angle B. So, na-find naman nato ang value sa A o sa C. So, kompleto na ang tanang sides. What about the measure of angle B? Now, remember that angle C here, it measures 90 degrees. And angle A, it measures 32 degrees. Now, always remember that the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, it would be easy for us now to find the measure of angle B. So, we have here measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now, since your angle A measures 32 degrees and your angle C that is 90 degrees. So, itong ipakita on sa on. So, what are we going to do is to add 32 and 90 degrees. So, meaning to say, measure of angle B plus the measure of pila mani 32 plus 90 degrees. That is 122 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Then, you transpose or minusan ni mo 122, minusan sa ni mo diha 122 degrees. So, ang mahabilin is only measure of angle B. So, how much is 180 minus 122? So, you have there 58 degrees. So, maoni ang measure sa angle 
B. Or diretso ra ka, i-plus sa nimo. 90 plus 32, that is 122. I-minus of diretso sa 180, so there you have 58 degrees. Okay, at this time, given the measure of two sides, and we're going to find the measure of the angles. So, you have here right triangle ACB, where C is the right angle, and we have here side C, which is 23, and your side B, which is 17. We're going to solve for angle A and angle B. Now, since there are two angles that we're going to find, we have to identify first kung asang una ho natug solve because ang angle nga ato ang solvon that will serve as our reference angle. Okay? So, I guess shall we solve for angle A first? So, to solve for angle A, we have to identify the 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 side that is opposite, adjacent, and the hypotenuse. So, for angle A, a reference angle kay ang A. So, kung A ang atong reference angle, asa ang ato ang opposite side? So, ang atong opposite side kay si A. Then, our adjacent is your B, which is 17. And the side opposite, your right angle, is the hypotenuse, which is your C, and which is equal to 23 degrees. Now, since ang given the re, kay adjacent o hypotenuse man, so, magpili ta asa sa sokatoa, ang pwede na tong magamit. So, asa man diha ang dunay adjacent og hypotenuse. So, adjacent and hypotenuse. So, therefore, in finding the measure of angle A, we are going to use the cosine. So, you have there, cosine A is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse or which is equal to B over C. Okay? So, we have here, cosine A is equal to, pila man si B. So, we have 17, and your C is 23. Now, since ang measurement sa angle ang ato ang i-find, ato sang i-simplify para di ta maglisod, i-divide na to si 17 ni 23. Ato siya i-simplify daan. So, 17 divided by 23, that is... So, you have there your cosine A is equal to 0 0.7391. Okay? Now, since ang atong ipangita, si A raman siya, si A, so, dapat matangtang si cosine. So, kung ato na siyang i-divide, i dapat mo divide ang tataog cosine, no? Ya, divide sa tataog cosine dere. Kana siya. Since dili ta pwede kung atong i-manipulate siya using calculator, wala man dili man ta maka-divide kung atong i-divide og cosine. Ang atong buhaton to simplify that one, so dili na to siya i-divide. Kung dili using your calculator, akong isuwat. You press You press um, so instead nga moingon ka no cosine Divided by cosine. So, di understood nga kana siya. Uh, how, how will I explain this? Meaning to say, 1 over cosine para makancel siya niya. Ang 1 over cosine sa ito ang function sa calculator that is equivalent to cosine to the negative 1. So, kung makakita mo diha sa inyong calculator na de cosine to the negative 1 na siya sa babaw. So, Inyo sang i-press ang shift. So, how to do that? So, i-press ninyo ang shift button. Then, pangita adiha kung asa makita si cosine to the negative 1. Then, press 0.7391. No? So, ang mugawas diha 
the answer is 42.35 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, measure of angle A. Okay, pa. Therefore, measure of angle A. A na lang na siya. Kay gishift naman ni na to. Gisimplify naman na na to siya. So, measure of angle A is equal to 42.35 degrees. And to solve for angle B, since kabalo na ta that the sum of the measures of the three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so may ngon ta measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now, since we already found the value of angle A, so ato na lang siyang isubstitute pila to. That is 42.35 degrees plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C, which is 90 is equal to 180 degrees. Then, add 42 and 90. So, you have their measure of angle B is equal to 132.35 is equal to 180 degrees. Then, subtract. What's this? Plus, ni plus. Sorry, this is plus. Is equal to 180. So, therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 132.35 measure of angle B would be equal to 47.65 degrees. So, pwede na sa dunahon ninyo ang solve ang measure sa angle B, but remember, kung angle B na sad ang inyong reference angle, Ang kaning B mao na sa ni ang opposite side, ang A mao na sa di siya ang mahimo nga adjacent side. Kay ang pag-assign na to magdepende siya sa to ang reference angle. Okay? Then always remember the sokatoa para dili mo maglibog kung unsa nga siya nga trigonometric ratios ang gamit gamiton. So magdepende siya sa given. Okay? I hope you learned something from our video and continue practicing no until nga ma master siya and all and we always believe that in math ang buhay natin ay aangat thank you for watching by the way for quarter 4 week 1 kung wala may calculator and awa sa luyo sa inyong module you have there the table of values for sine cosine and tangent between 0 to 90 degrees so, na di ang mga angle with their respective value kung sine, cosine, or tangent siya. So, na asya diha. Okay?